Hey everyone, welcome back to Jason Explains Things. Well, the raised vegetable garden that I built for my wife a few months ago has exploded. It is now completely full of growing vegetables. Also, if you're interested in that project, there's a whole video about it, really good video. I'll link it in the description below for you. Anyway, as of today, my wife demands more planting space and she wants it now. <laughs> Today we're going to be making some large planters out of these locally sourced oak wine barrels. You can buy oak barrel planters at a store, but usually they cost around $90 for a genuine one. To contrast that with what we're doing, my wife found these on Facebook Marketplace for $30 a piece. So for the price of just one uh, barrel planter from a store like Home Depot, we're going to be making six and the tools you're gonna need are really, really minimal. You're just gonna need a circular saw, some safety equipment, pencil, chalk line, drill, drill bits, and an orbital sander. So this is gonna be a really fun little project that's gonna save you a ton of money, and it's gonna look really cool too when it's all done. So let's get started. Hey, pretty cool, right? So you don't have to build something like this, but what this little track system is, is just a way to be able to roll it and control it easily by myself um, without it rocking back and forth very much. And I have the scrap wood laying around. So next thing to do is just uh, find the center of the barrel, measure uh, a line, a cut line, and uh, cut it in half. And you get the idea. So the chalk line is working, but it is also kind of difficult to work on a curved surface, especially with no one else to kind of hold the chalk, uh, the end of the line for you. So what I went and found is just a flexible metal ruler, and I'm gonna be using this along with my measurement marks to uh, establish my center line. Okay, time to go ahead and cut our barrel in half. So to begin with doing this, you're just gonna have to do a bit of a plunge cut. Uh, you know, take your time, be safe. Uh, this uh, worm drive saw is awesome, a little bit of overkill, but uh, wear eye protection and ear protection, and uh, yeah, have a good time. Okay, so we got all our barrels cut in half. We uh, I used some 80 grit sandpaper and an orbital sander to uh, smooth the edges and kind of just chamfer them a little bit, make them a little smoother. So last thing we gotta do is drill four to, four to eight holes, they say, in the bottom with a uh, three fourths inch wide drill bit. And this is an auger bit, which are, they're really cool. A little more expensive than spade bits, but they are really, really nice to use. So all you gotta do is just take your barrel, Flip it upside down, drill some holes. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, it is a hot summer evening. It's like nine, it's like eight o'clock at night. It's still 90 degrees, so bleh. 
Anyway, we've got our wine barrel planters placed around the house, several in the back, several in the front. To use these, you wanna place either a metal screen or some rocks to base so those drainage holes do not get plugged. And then we have a mixture of potting soil and compost for our plants. Uh, this one is a mint plant named Minty here in the corner of the garden. So yeah, also all credit for this video and this idea goes to my wife, Amy, who found the barrels and said, uh, Jason, uh, we're, we're picking something up with the truck uh, on Saturday morning. I'm like, what's going on? I'm like, you'll see. So that's what happened. So good job, Amy. This is pretty cool. I like it. So if you enjoyed this video, I demand and insist that you subscribe and turn on all notifications to Jason Explains Things because we have a bunch of awesome DIY videos on the channel about gardening, lawn care, home improvement, building stuff, fixing stuff, cars, trucks, motorcycles, all sorts of things. Eva, there's a video about Legos on there. You watch that one even. I, you have to. <laughs> anyway, until I see you guys next time, don't forget to do it yourself. All right, bye.